This wipe, I set out to build the biggest farm I have built yet, but in order to do this, I would need a plan. Usually when I have these builds in mind, I run out of resources very quickly due to being a solo, but this wipe, I set out with the intention of building near Large Excavator, because per diesel, you are granted 5,000 metal frags, which if I was able to sneak a few runs in, would be plenty to throw up a large farm in no time. And in doing so, I would create a business where I would be able to craft mass amounts of teas and sell it through shops at my base for diesel, giving me access to near unlimited resources if I could control Excavator. This wasn't going to be all smooth sailing though, because it wouldn't be long before groups started to notice my plan and I'd have to make a stand to defend my empire. Alright, here's the plan. I just want to chill. I already scouted out a base spot. We're looking right here. I, I got a whole master plan set out. I want to build a massive farm. Considering I started day one pretty late at night, I decided to just collect some hemp and berry seeds as I knew I would need them in the future, and then I just decided to hit the road up towards the build spot as my goal for the first day was only to get a secure base down near Excavator. Hopefully not get mowed down. Ooh! Okay, now we got a playmaker. That's a pretty big base. These gears are going to be huge. That's water pumps right there when I get a tier two. What is this? Ooh, can I sauce anything off this? I will take some metal doors. What can I even drop though? After a little bit of luck from crates in a decaying raid base, I recycled all my extra materials at supermarket and headed straight towards a river north of excavator due to my original base location already being claimed by a group. As it turned out though, this new base location was going to be a prime spot for me because it was fairly secluded and I was going to be able to farm my area without worry due to there not being too many immediate bases in the area. Real quick boys, I just want to thank you guys for the support and also the 10k giveaway winners were announced in my discord. The AK has been claimed but I'm still waiting on two more people to claim their prizes. On top of that, the 10k village is going to be this 17th so all info on that is in my discord as well if you're interested in playing with a bunch of us. I'm going to be live streaming it on Twitch TV, Gus Rust, and my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in watching that as well, hope to see you there. Nice. Okay, we got a base down. Nice. Now that we had a base down, I went out and farmed a little bit of stone so I could secure it even more, then headed straight over to Excavator with my bow and DB to slowly clear the scientists so I could run my one diesel I had for a quick little 5k metal frags. This would go a long way in securing my base this early and help me survive the night to come. Dude, you get such good loot from this, like, early. I just need to clear all these with a bow, and it's so annoying. Well. I'm gonna grab some food for healing, and we should be able to clear it from here. Okay, now I got some shells too. Dude, this loot is so good for early game. Alright, it's only gonna take two minutes for all my stuff, which is really good because I don't want to stay here too long. Now that everyone on the server knows that I just activated uh, Excavator. Looks like we got some competition here, here, 
There's a few bases around Xgav that I gotta worry about. Doesn't seem like anything too crazy though. Like any massive groups. Nice. Quick and easy. Now that we had ourselves established, I went out to collect some diesel and scout some nearby bases so I could stockpile some more materials while it was late at night, and I managed to stumble across an airdrop in the middle of nowhere where I got a couple guns that would get me situated for the day to come. With the SAR I got from the airdrop, I went and ran excavator one more time with the three diesel that I found for a couple more lines of frags, and at this point it was getting super late so I decided to put a few more doors up and call it quits for the night in hopes that my base would still be untouched in the morning. Now considering the whole goal of my wipe was to build a massive farm, day two starts out with me doing exactly that with all my extra metal frags. This will be water right here and an entrance. And then we can still honeycomb it. Okay. That'll work. For this farm design, I decided to go with a 4x4. This was going to give me access to 16 planters per floor, depending on how I set it up, which was going to massively improve my output in comparison to every other farm I've done in the past. And trust me, when it got up and running, the tea output was absolutely ridiculous. Hell yeah, we already got it up and going. We'll put a garage door right here. Now, although the farm was up, I nearly used all my metal frags I had gotten the night before just to set up the first floor of the farm. That being said, I went out and collected a few more diesel from the surrounding monuments and set out to take excavator once again, but this time it wasn't late in the AM, so I would have some company. Dude, I have no clue how this guy didn't see me. I was going to depot real quick. Well, his name's Solo, so I hope he's actually Solo. Little did I know at the time, but this guy was actually part of at least a foreman that lived in a cave a few tiles away from me. Him and his group will end up playing a large part in the story of this video and will be one of the main enemies in the near future. I don't know how that kid just didn't see me, and why he egoed me when he was like 1 HP. Well, he's a mini right there. Man. 
Maybe he lives far then. That's my one hope, is he lives super far and I can just use this mini real quick. Okay, that's probably him. Yep, that's him. Okay, so he lives probably... He's probably this guy. H2. The shops. Now that I had an enemy that lived close and it was very obvious where I lived, I decided to fully focus on working on my farm and moving my loot so I could hopefully not get raided as I had to get off for a couple of hours. get these placed finally. Nice, this is gonna be so many berries for harvest, I love it. Considering I wanted this farm to be my main base as well, I started working on a loot room so I could move all of my loot from my starter to my farm. This would make it more expensive to blow as well as not as easy to guess where my loot was in case someone got any funny ideas while I was offline for a couple hours. And not to my surprise, two hours later, my starter base was completely raided as well as the raiders hit the top of my farm with 4c4. They ended up wasting all that boom and getting completely nothing. Now I didn't know for sure who it was, but I figured it had to be Solo in his group because he was the one I killed right outside of my base. And just as I was finishing up repairing my farm, I heard the swamp only two tiles away from their main base getting raided, so I headed over to investigate. That guy's cheating. Well, I'm probably dead.
Now unfortunately, I ended up dying with my only kit, but it wasn't the end of the world. The only weird thing being was that I died to Solo and his group running away from the cheater at the swamp. Oddly enough though, the base owner said in chat that Solo and his group were the ones doing the raid in the swamp. Therefore, this meant that he was either playing with a cheater or something really weird was going on. But later in the white, my suspicion was confirmed, but that didn't mean they weren't able to be outplayed. But now that I was on the back foot, I decided to work on the farm a bit. All right, here we go. And just like that, the farm was already almost in service. All I needed to do now was get some good clones. I wasn't looking for any god clones or anything like that. I just wanted a couple G's and a couple Y's. So I started to plant some seeds and see what I could get. That's not bad. I mean, I'll have to just take that. G, Y, Y. I mean, it could be a lot better, but it could be worse. Ooh. Holy, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll take this one. It's not bad, three Gs. Those are, I'm gonna harvest those a lot quicker, but that's fine. Okay, so we have like a decent start to clones. We probably eat some later and try and get some better clones, but at least we got something. Need a good hemp clone. I'm begging for a good hemp clone here. Okay, that's not bad. Two G's, two Y's, that's pretty decent, to be fair. We'll plant them all, see what we get, but for now, I think that's going to be the, the winner. And now that we had the foundation for the farm set and some decent clones going, I bagged in my duel and it was time to dominate. We started off by roaming around our area to see what type of fights we could get into. Are you Tommy? No, Tommy at gas oh, station, GA. Oh, I'm far. Well, and I'm far. I ran to the north side of launch for some reason. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I can game him. Hit his teammate three times. This guy is stacked as shit. Oh my god. But there's a kid right under me somewhere. This guy is loaded as hell. Yeah, 
Oh my god. Oh, they both died. Okay, we're good. This guy is stacked and I can't really loot him. Shortly after cleaning up that gas station fight, one of our neighbors started taking Bradley, so we decided we had to go counter. Yeah, I was gonna go the other side, but I don't really wanna have to cross. Okay, one on top of four. Mm -hmm. Um, One on ground, it's second silo sitting right next to the ladder. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna push silos. Just try not to die. I'm trying not to. I'm just kind of shooting at silos. To... Headshot him on top. I made behind noise. Healing. Yeah, he's behind healing. He's right dead. Nice. Both dead. Both dead. Nice. We're good. Nice. Bradley's good out boxes. too. You go. Nice. You go boxes. I go bodies. Yep. One box custom rockets. Two box M2. Three box tech trash garbage. After a fairly smooth Bradley counter, we managed to secure an M2 and a ton more loot from recycling all the custom rockets. Shortly after that, the action didn't stop when our nearby neighbors decided to take down Heli. Uh, He's right in front of us. So there's one at their base and then one at these rocks right here. An L9 hit. One's close. Then one's on the roof. Close to me. Mm. Dead? Smoked? You gotta try and hit this kid in their base with L9. You gotta try and kill him for me. So I can go up and wall this body. Can you see him in their base? Or just like shoot at him. I'll try and get him to shoot me right here. Naked coming out of him, man. I walled. I got his kit. Hit the naked, you're down. Okay, you just gotta try and- Yep, I see the sniper now. Yep, he's fighting me now. Headshot him, dead. He should be dead. He's hazzy. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to heli right now. That's one on timer. We just gotta worry about that sniper. That's the only one left. Yeah, they're both dead. They're both dead. There's a kit somewhere, like, near you. Some Somewhere there's a body near you that is full kit, I think. Because he killed him. There was an AK spray, and I'm pretty sure he killed him and was pushing up to get his body. I don't know where that would be at. Careful for roof. I'm looking. Oh, yeah, I found it. I think. Yeah, I found it. Road sign AK set. Just try and just watch over me now. Yeah, I'm getting sniped. I put a set on. Oh. He hit me. Healing. Hit him. Opened one, got it. Watch out, he's... Got it. I'm just gonna start running. I missed him. Yep, just keep doing your he's thing. He's looking for you, I think. He's looking for you. He jumped up, he's gonna try to shoot. Oh, he jumped back down, I missed. Just as easy as Bradley, we finessed all the heli loot from our other neighbors as well. This gave us momentum, and with our newfound boom and MLRS missiles we got off Bradley, we decided to go hit what we thought to be Solo and his group's furnace base, but little did we know what we were getting into. Alright, I'm firing. 
Wait, why I sent out? Like, I can't. Yeah, I just sent them. It's gonna take me a while to get back, but I'm on my way. He's in here, so I'm just gonna blow right here. Oh, he's in? There. Yeah. Dead? Nice, yeah, I'm in it. I gotta heal real quick. One so two. many, and there's they have launchers. In They're loaded as shit. Yeah, watch out one behind this dash. Oh, it's solo. It's the AK that just that just got killed. We need to break bags. Yeah. I have a melee if you can cover. No, let's try and find loot first. Box, like half box sulfur over here. Half box sulfur. Here, know. scoot back. I'm gonna try and get. I'm gonna try and break bags and t get TC. There's so much. One more rocket. We're in. We got TC. I'm gonna try. I think someone was lying in that garage, but I don't see those. Dude. Yeah, let's set this too. Is this your bag? No, 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 no. Break everything. Can you, you can you make a door? Oh uh, yeah, let me find. Where's uh, what, uh what you got? See, and the tier three right here. Tier three right here to quick craft quicker. To watch out for other, in or I don't think there was. Them it's there. just this entrance. Got four seconds. I don't need to see any other bags, and we can get it. Look at the comps in one of those. Uh, they have a box of frags. Yeah, did you see the? Look at the comps over there. Yeah. The tier three box. Now, as stacked as they were, we really had no possible way to leave at this point because they were right outside, which put us in really an odd situation. Oh, I'm rocketed. Maybe... No, he's leading me right now. But yeah, I'm HV rocketed. That's fine. It's fine. Got a metal set LR. That's all you yeah, have. Metal set. LR. I didn't have the code to that door, and it won't let me put it in. They just threw a C4. They rocketed as well. Well, you guys really messed that one up, didn't you? Holy. Honestly, at this point, it was looking real scuffed. They had enough boom in their cave to raid back into the side with a TC, pretty much trapping me in the other side of their furnace base. I knew there was at least a couple of them online to begin with, and we also had some counters outside, so it was going to be a complete battle to win this raid. This, I might give you a little bit of time to get here. Now they're GLing it now. They're just going to GL me. Rocketed one. One's dead. Two tiles out. Killed two more. Three dead. Oh, that should be all three of them. I don't know. Come loot. I just need you to come loot this metal kit. He's dead up right out here. About a half a tile out. Killed him again. They live in the cave. Shoot me.
kill them again. Yep, you're right here. Full metal kit right at front door. Here, you need to grab some stuff. Here. I'm gonna grab another load. Dude, do you have any room? Yeah, I can stack doors. A bunch of room stacking doors. Um, so and just leave that. Just leave that. Jump up to the mini and take it back home. Quick store and get back. I'm holding. You just go. It's on the side of the base. How you did last time. Last time I was. They're back in their base. I killed one. I need help. I got rocketed. I got rocketed. Maybe just book it. I don't know. I have no spawn. Just leave the mini and book it. Or I don't know. Killed one. Pulling away with some of it. All I have is AK. Yeah, just, right, it's fine. No, it's fine. No, I'll take AK. Uh, meds, meds. Just take meds. Like you have had a lot of the stuff. They're gonna... We got at least a lot of it out. There's an HLMG right out the front door on the naked. I don't know if they picked it up yet or not. Probably did after I flew off. Almost back to base, I can see it. Nice cheats, homie. This kid said, Nice cheats, homie. No, I tried to rocket him. Now at this point, we got a lot of the loot out, but still not the majority of it. They still had a lot more, and I wasn't going to give up that easily because these guys were constantly talking trash for literally no reason. So instead of letting them win, we went back to see if we could raid back in and secure the rest of the loot. Doubled one, duh. Yo, did you kill him? Kill another. Another naked at the cave. I'm gonna see for this. Okay, they have a flashlight in here. I'm gonna get. They're gonna probably rocket it. We can't let them seal. Just holding it with a flashlight so he doesn't have a rocket. How do you get up? All right here. Don't get rocketed with me. I'm peeking. Nice. Are you sure? I'm one. Dead. Nice. Blow that TC. Blow that TC. He blew up a frag. He blew, he blew up a frag. I, I need one of his flashlights too. It's blowing. Come, 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 come. Jump in. Flashlight me? In the box flashlight or anything? Drop, no, I drop, 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 drop. Oh, he loaded on his body. It's on the ground at AK. We don't have enough to make another TC. Oh, wait, yeah, we do. Seal on this. They're probably going to come with rockets. I'm about to demo this and go up. I'm about to demo this and go up. Can you seal it again or no? Dead. 
Hold another one. And just like that, we won. Although it was a little rough at times, it all ended up working out and we were completely stacked with everything we needed. We also sealed their base so we could get all the rest of whatever we wanted from it, and then gave the guy who got raided in the swamp by them the day before all the rest of the loot. With all this newly acquired loot, I decided to full focus on the farm and the base so I could log off with shops up and running and feeling a bit more safe to an offline. Oh my god, are they all ready? Yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna be beautiful. Alright, what are we looking at? Not bad. Let's go. Look at all of those. All them berries. Oh, you already know this is ready too. Let's see how much this gives us. Jesus, dude. We are just loaded now. At first, even I was a little skeptical of my own prices here, due to them feeling just a bit high. But as this time went on, I realized how big of a demand there was when I started upping my supply. And with the extra boom we had acquired, I was ready to find any other berry base to raid just for the sake of keeping my price the benchmark around the map. With that in mind, I decided to go out and do a little bit of scouting in hopes to find some farms to raid, but instead, I ran into a little familiar fate. What are these guys doing over here? What the hell? No wait, this is them. <laughs> I'm about to steal as many. So they're using cheats, eh? 
After that pretty funny altercation, we went back to the main objective of finding farm bases around the map to raid. So after flying around for a bit, we found one a few tiles south and decided to raid it in hopes for better clones or more berries. Dang, these clones are so bad. Just Look pick everything. Oh, look at down here. Yeah, nice, we can actually make a decent amount of teas with this. We got some oil down Now the loot wasn't too insane, but the way I was looking at it is each berry base off the map, more people were going to be buying from our shop. So at the end of the day, as long as we got about 5 diesel from the tea we sold off that raid, we were making profit sulfur wise. Alright, we are teeing it up over here. At this point, it was getting pretty late and the shop was fully stocked. Little did I know though, is that we were a target now. For a group that I didn't even know about, because a few hours later, I was rudely woken up by the sound of rockets just completely slamming our base. Holy sh there's a whole gang. I'm gonna need an AK kit if this is gonna work. Holy sh shit, there's a lot of them.
Maybe I can put this armored door on. If I can get on ground. I've sealed a little bit. Maybe I can seal this now. And honestly, that was probably the easiest 1v7 defense I've probably ever had. I don't think they realized how many rockets my base would actually take and that I was going to be online. Not knowing at the time, but they pulled up on a tugboat and I didn't see, so they just ran and drove away. So I couldn't secure anything except a couple kits and my base, but I was still pretty happy with it. As for my shops, overnight they pulled in the racks, making me nearly a stack of diesel between the two of them, which was going to be enough for upkeep and more. Unfortunately, my teammate was done for the wipe, and I was too, due to having to do some stuff the next day. So I decided to go out with one last bang and attempt to online raid a huge farm across the map just for fun. Oh my god. Yep, I'm raiding them. All right, let's do this. Let's hope for some good PVP or some berries. Oh, hello there. Holy shit. I need stuff to seal real quick. I'm not making it out of this alive, I can guarantee you that. Oh my god. Dude, they have like no metal frags in here. Come on.
Oh my god, dude. You're stuck in there, bitch. Thank you, thank you. You're cheating, bro. You're cheating. You feel thank you, thank you. I'm cheating? What did I do that was sus? Now as much as I wasn't being nice in game, these guys were being real actual pieces of garbage, so I just decided to despawn everything I could in their base until they eventually came to raid it back. That sucks. <laughs> All right, that's fine with me. And just like every wipe, I decided to end it by giving away all of our loot to random people in chat. And it just so happened that one of them recognized me from a prior wipe, which is pretty cool. And everything you can dream of. Oh, actually? Your friend on the hill can come too. Oh, I, I, can, I can get my friend over here? Yeah, I saw him like looking at me on the hill. He can just come over. I'm not going to kill him. Okay. Dude. Hello. Oh, it's you. Yo, I know gosh. you. Hello. Dude, go on in. I don't know what's left up there, but I'm sure there's some stuff, dude. That's fine. All good, dude. All good. Is this video gonna be crazy? At the very top of the vending machine. The vending machine is at the very top of the machine. Have a good day, bro. Alright, gang. See you later. Just like that, boys, brings us to the end of the video. If you guys made it this far, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you guys on the 17th for the village. Peace out, boys.